Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jaya. So this week is going to be a lot less of me sitting right here and talking and a lot more of me showing you guys something that I worked on um, about a week ago. Okay. Okay. Something that I worked on about a week. About a week ago. A week ago. Something I worked on last week, which was our wedding party proposals. So my fiance and I really wanted to find um, a way to ask everyone to be a part of our big day in a very personalized way. So we came up with um, wedding proposal boxes. We are very fortunate that we have a lot of people around us that love and care um, about us and support our relationship. So that meant a lot of people that we wanted to include. Uh, we did have to narrow it down a bit, but we still weren't able to get it very small. So we have 12 bridesmaids, 12 groomsmen, two flower girls, and two ring bearers. So that is 28 boxes that we needed to put together. And originally our plan was to use Etsy um, and then just put the things together. But I got a Cricut for Christmas. So I was like, you know, why not? I like crafting, I can figure this out. So with the help of Michaels, um, Party City, Amazon, a bunch of YouTube videos, I was able to turn all of this into all of this. It was so much fun. It did take a lot of work and a lot of patience um, and a lot of love went into it, but it paid off because everybody loved them. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did it, so stay tuned. Um, I'll also include most of the things that I use below. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, enjoy. So the first thing I did was set up my workspace. I used the Cricut Explore Air 2 to make most of the things for the boxes. I made the labels for the wine tumblers using Cricut Design Space and printed them on rose gold foil adhesive vinyl paper. I cut out each label and detached the excess foil paper from around it and then used this little Cricut tool to weed out the inside of the lettering. I chose the cursive font because I like how it looks and it also makes it a bit easier when weeding and transferring the design onto the cup. As you can see, the date here is very small and not in cursive, so I did lose a few twos and fives along the way, but I was able to reattach them when attaching the design to the cup. I used transfer tape and this little Cricut smoothing tool that came with the Cricut to attach the designs to the cups. This part was really easy. The hardest part of this entire process was definitely weeding out that little date. Word of advice from a novice Cricuter, larger fonts are your friend. Now I'm adding in the reusable straws that came with the cups. I actually got these cups from Amazon in a 12 pack for a pretty good deal. Next I worked on the names for the bridesmaid boxes using Cricut Design Space to create the design again. This time I printed on white adhesive vinyl paper. Then I pretty much repeated the steps that I used to create the design for the wine tumblers, which was detach the excess paper and then weed out the inside of the lettering. I printed out these rings using the same paper that I used for the wine tumblers. They came out really cute, but weeding out the insides of those diamonds was a mess. Clearly I didn't learn my lesson from the small dates. Then I used the transfer tape and the smoothing tool again to attach the names and the rings to the outside of each of the boxes. They came out so cute. These are all 12 lids to the bridesmaid boxes and the flower girl boxes as well. Next, I worked on the monogram makeup bags, following the same steps as I did for the tumblers and the boxes to create the design. This time, however, I printed on gold vinyl iron-on paper. I followed the same steps of detaching the excess paper and weeding out the insides of the lettering. Since I printed the design on iron-on paper, I needed to use an iron to attach the design to the makeup bags. This step was actually pretty hard, but after a few trial and error and a bunch of YouTube videos, I figured out how to do it and the bags came out really cute. For the actual bridesmaids proposals, I did not use my Cricut. I printed the words on clear sticker paper on my printer at home and attached it to a 4x6 sheet of acrylic along with a small collage of me and each of the girls that I was asking. These actually took quite a bit of time to make. I was getting a lot of air bubbles when I was attaching the words, so I wanted to smooth all of those out and I wanted to ensure that all the pictures were lined up straight, so that took some time. I took a quick break to teach Chris how to attach the designs to his flask for his groomsmen boxes so that he could work on those while I finished up the bridesmaid proposals. 
They took a while to make, but they came out really nice. I got these acrylic sheets from Amazon in a pack of 20 with the sands to go with them. Next, I worked on the names for the groomsmen boxes using the Cricut. I followed the same steps as I did for the other boxes, except for this time I printed on black adhesive vinyl paper. We got these wooden boxes in a 12 pack from Michaels. They were a little bit pricey, but they're really good quality boxes. I used the Cricut writing feature to write the actual proposals for the groomsmen boxes. It looks really cool and handwritten when it's finished. It does take some time, but it looks nice, so it's worth it. I then attached a fake mustache from Dollar Tree to each of the groomsmen proposals. Unfortunately, I don't have a video of this step as it was probably like 2 a.m. and I was really tired of recording, so I just did it really quickly. All right, I'm done cricketing everything. It took me a long time, so I really hope these girls love these things because it's <laughs> hard work. But anyways, everything's done, cricketing. We got all of the little pieces. We got the cut, the actual little plexiglass proposal, the makeup bags. Cute, scrungy necklaces. Let's get this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please let me know what you think um what you guys want to see more of less of and yeah we're gonna continue this youtube journey so thanks for tuning in